because we've been in the one teens for so long, I got acclimated to it. <laughs> it felt relatively cooler today. I know, I complete. I'm with you. I'm like, okay, I can be outside and I don't have to immediately. It's still triple digits though. I know, we're still gonna be in the triple digits uh, through uh, the next few days as well. But temperature is a lot more seasonable today. Of course, the weather impacted today by that wildfire smoke and those breezy conditions, especially overnight. Last night, I could really tell the wind was picking up. Now, taking a look outside right now, you can see that wildfire smoke. It is definitely thicker in some parts of the valley, mostly towards the western side is where you're going to encounter that thicker smoke. A lot of that wind has helped clear out some of the hazier conditions in the city center, but definitely still seeing that as an ongoing issue. Now, taking a look at those wind speeds at the moment, we're around 15 miles per hour towards Las Vegas. 22 miles per hour towards Prim. Definitely breezy out there. We're seeing some stronger wind gusts towards Pahrump. In the coming hours, that wind is going to continue to stick around with us as we get into the early hours of 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're still going 13 miles per hour towards Las Vegas, 22 miles per hour towards Pahrump. Now that wind is helping push wildfire smoke into the region. We're going to continue to see that be a factor in our planning tomorrow. Now, speaking of wildfire, we do have some red flag warnings in effect. That means conditions are really hot and dry out there. So we have those concerns in western Arizona and much of Utah, er, uh, Nevada right now is on the clear side. We're not seeing a huge amount of burns going on in southern Nevada, but we are seeing them across the border in California. Here's a look at that trajectory of smoke over the uh, next few hours and into early tomorrow morning. We're going to see it lift up and push towards central Nevada. Uh, these wildfires that are burning are pretty close to Bakersfield, California. I'll give you a look right now at specifically these two fires we're keeping our eyes on that are sending the majority of smoke to our region. We're looking at trout fire and Boral fire. I looked it up. Both of these wildfires are over 30,000 acres in size. So definitely some large burns going on there across the border. And we are seeing some reduced air quality tomorrow, looking at that air quality alert to be extended here in Clark County because of that and enhanced risk because of wildfire smoke. But Tomorrow afternoon looks like some of that smoke will be lifting and clearing towards central Nevada. Now let's talk about temperatures real quick. I told you that they are seasonable for this time of year. Our average temperature for today and into tomorrow and Monday is actually 105. So we're going to be right on par with where we should be this time of year. It won't be until we push towards the weekend that we start to move into above average territory. Once again, hitting 110 by Friday. Now here is a look at that seven day forecast tomorrow, a high of 105. We're going to see some hazy conditions in the morning, but see that smoke clearing on out by the afternoon.